The University of Maryland School of Pharmacy is a unique institute of higher education because our activities span the continuum of education to pharmacy practice to research to public outreach. We educate our students through traditional approaches such as in-classroom lectures as well as innovative instructional approaches. A feature of our program that we've spent a lot of time planning is integration across courses. A student is not only able to learn something conceptually, they can actually put it into practice. Another innovation at the University of Maryland School of Pharmacy can be found in its bricks and mortar. In 2010, the school opened a new 66,000 square foot building that houses lecture halls, classrooms, and research space, and that incorporates technology in its PharmD program. We have a lot of technology that we can use to enhance student learning. In real time, we communicate with students at our campus at Shady Grove, so it's kind of have a very interactive experience. Today I'm going to show you how to use the school benefits from a state-of-the-art OSCE facility in which we can use standardized patients. And we are supposed to hand them their medications and educate them or counsel them on how to use it, on side effects, what to expect, what not to expect. And having a real person that is not a fellow student made it real. We also have a campus-wide initiative that looks at interprofessional education. So our students work shoulder to shoulder with students from nursing, medicine, social work, etc., to provide and learn best practices in healthcare delivery. Our research program is probably one of the major things we do here at the School of Pharmacy. We are focused in engaging uh, research activities for new medications, but we're also very interested in improving the safety of current medications. Our faculty research is involved in obesity, Alzheimer's, and cancer uh, uh, therapy uh, that provides a unique platform for students to work with, with world-renowned investigators. We have the Center for Nanomedicine, the Center for Computer-Aided Drug Design. We have a Pharmaceutical Research Computing Center. We're given the tools and the opportunities to interact with individuals from other disciplines so that when we go out into the world, we're able to be a productive member of an interdisciplinary team. Along with its education and research programs, the school says it also has a strong focus on patient-centered health care. Our practice faculty are, are leaders in innovation of pharmacy practice models. One of those models is the P3 program, which stands for Patients Pharmacists Partnership. This is a program that fosters chronic disease management. And we are being able to show that overall, for a patient that engaged in this program, we're saving an average of $900 to $1,000 per year. The School of Pharmacy has three cornerstone uh, areas of focus, teaching, research, and service. Um, and we meet all three of those needs. The University of Maryland is home to the state's poison center. Even if you took two or three, it's not a problem. A lifeline for those individuals dealing with a poisoning emergency. She really has a located the pill. This is actually a direct patient service environment. We're actually treating and managing poisoning cases from all over the state. We have been involved historically with service commitments to our community, to the city, and to the state of Maryland. All of these experiences coalesce into creating a student that's a lifelong learner that has the skill set to innovate and to lead a pharmacy practice in the changing uh, landscape of healthcare reform.